And that is the and that is only on two tonight. A resident is talking to us from his room in that facility, which is also a rehab center. That man telling us his roommate was one of the 19 people who died there. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli reporting live from the Paradigm at First Colony on this outbreak. He's on Lexington Boulevard in Missouri City. Vincent? Dominique, the resident that I spoke with says there are major concerns at this facility. People are dying and he's worried about his health. The Paradigm at First Colony is a place for care, but it's turned into a nightmare. Are you worried that you might get infected and pass away? Actually, yes. I'm, I'm worried, but I'm not afraid. Moises Moreno lives at the facility that's seen 38 COVID cases, 19 deaths, and 24 infected staff members, according to Fort Bend County. Moreno says his old roommate passed away last month. How do you feel on a daily basis with that in the back of your mind? Like, need to be uh, wearing my face mask every, every time they come in or every time I'm... Uh, I'm stepping out of the room, which I have to for dialysis. Medicare.gov gave the facility one star for their health inspection and their overall rating. Moreno says sometimes it takes up to three hours for workers to respond to his call button. I started thinking, like, what if something like a, a, a real emergency would happen? The person that was that need help, I mean, they might have passed away. Attorney uh, Charles Brown. The high death rate in nursing homes is a cause for concern everywhere. Um, I don't think there's enough information right now to say this nursing home in particular uh, did anything wrong that caused these 19 people to pass. Brown says the investigation by Texas Health and Human Services will show if the nursing home was following rules and regulations. At that point, culpability could be an issue. And the facility did send us a statement. It says in part, currently there are 11 residents with confirmed cases of COVID-19 at Paradigm at First Colony who remain in stable condition. Our mitigation efforts include training staff based on the recommendations of the CDC and CMS. We are monitoring residents for signs of upper respiratory symptoms and other symptoms of COVID-19. And it's worth, no no worth noting other health care facilities are struggling with the coronavirus, which continues to wreak havoc across the country. Reporting live in Missouri City, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.